Welcome back to the channel. In today's Plants with Basics series, we're going to talk about renaming files in your Pages window. And when I say renaming them, after you import a plan or set of plans, they'll have a name that comes with them. If they were individual PDFs, they'll be the name of the PDF. Those names may or may not work for you, and you may want to rename them. Or, like most times, you get a multi-page PDF and what happens is you've got a series of files or pages now all with the same name. PlanSwift uh, doesn't know what to name them. It doesn't pick up any kind of character recognition off of the page numbers. So it's really up to you to do them. There's a quick and easy way to do it. And that's why I always say you want to load up as few of plans that you need. Because if you load up 150 plan set and you have to rename 150 plans, well, that's just a pain in the butt. So... Okay, like we talked about in the last session where we were scaling the drawings, you may get to a point where your drawings, as I did with this example, I've got imported a multi-page PDF that uh, simply as Plans with Broadman, it renamed them all the name of the file. It's just the way Plans with works. So if you're going to at this point, and I always do this, name the file as the same as the sheet name, uh, the best way to do it is to go up to your Page tab, which is right to the right of Home. Click on that, and there will be a selection called Batch Rename Pages. Just click on that, on that box, and it will bring up Dialog. And it basically says, uh, it shows you the name of that page, and you get a bunch of arrow icons and some boxes on here. Show me how to do this, which is... It just linked to plant was showing you a video of how to do it and the save previous and save next so first thing you want to do is decide whether you want to whether you need to blow up the corner of the plan most plan names are in the bottom right hand corner if I click on the bottom of this this arrow for bottom right it will bring up so you can see it the page number or page name same way if I click it again, it takes it out full screen. If I click one of the other arrows, arrows it takes it to that portion of the page. Uh, top right, top left, bottom left. Typically, most plan names or plan or page numbering is going to be in the bottom right. So I click on that. The, name, the current name is already highlighted. So all you have to do is, and I usually will put the caps on at this point, I just, it just find it easier for looking at it in all caps. It's just more readable. You do what you want to. So it says S001. S001, not 001. Now at that point, I could stop. Uh, it's really up to you whether you want to just put the page number in or put the page number and the title of the page, the full, what I call the full name. To me, it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing takeoff, uh, then I want the whole name because I want to know what when I refer back to it that that is like the notes page or that is the framing plan or the roof plan or the foundation plan. So I will go in and put in usually some kind of abbreviation of what that file is. Now it says structural abbreviations and symbols and legends. So you know what that to me is? That's notes. Space. Put in space and notes and then I just hit enter. The enter is to the default, same as if you press the Save Next button. Either one does the same thing. It jumps down, it keeps the page blown up to the bottom right, and, and it's ready for the next page number. So, there again, up to you. If you just want page number, put an S002, hit Enter. It's going to repeat, and it's going to go through this one after another. And after a while, you can get really fast at doing this. Um, for me, that's a notes page again, so I'll put in notes. Now, I will tell you when I get to disciplines I don't use, mechanical in particular, mechanical, electrical, some of the plumbing drawings, I'll just put in the sheet number so I can easily get back to it. If I see something that references me, I need to know what, I need a quick way of getting to that sheet. So I'll always, at a minimum, put in the sheet number. The rest of it depends on what I do. I'm looking for demolition. It's, cro it's across multiple disciplines. So I will enter more than probably most than a plumber or an electrician would do. 
he probably put in just the sheet numbers in case he gets a reference to that sheet. Then when he gets to his sheets or his discipline, then he's entering the whole thing. And even with your entering the whole thing, just remember, you don't have to type the whole label that the sheet shows. You just have to know what it is. So abbreviate, abbreviate, abbreviate. S003, notes, on to the next one. S101, overall foundation and slab plan. Also, I really need to know it's slab, that it's a slab plan, or I could say foundation plan. S 101A, it says foundation and slab plan. Well, it's, it's another one, so I just put slab plan in again. I don't really need to know that's, that it's a second slab plan, just that it's a slab plan. S102, and this is the floor coring or framing plan. I'll just put in framing plan. And you get the idea. I'll go through them one and one and um, keep renaming them until it runs out. When it runs out, the dialog box will disappear. Now, the other thing I can do is if I go back and say, well, I didn't, oh, I did that wrong. I didn't mean to call it the framing plan. Then you go on your save and previous, and it will go backwards, and it will go back up the list, and you got an opportunity now to call it something else. So say framing and cores. That's what I wanted to say. Hit enter. It continues to go down that list. All right, for the rest of these things, I am just going to type the uh, sheet number because I don't want to spend all day having you bored looking at me typing. And this is the most boring part of plans with by far is re renaming sheets. And you'll end, you will be doing this, and it's just one of those things you have to do. Take shortcuts as you design them. Abbreviate, abbreviate, and when you get to the last one, you'll see the dialog box disappear, disappears, which tells you you're through renaming. If you find that your sheets were not sorted properly, you can manually resort them in two different ways. One, I can take the sheet and I can left click it and then drag it where I want it. I want it below this one and it goes there. Or there is a uh, basically sort icon up here uh, just below the pages bookmarks uh, label. I click on that. You get a dialog box here and I can move things. I got arrows here. I can move them down. I can move them up. I can move them all the way up, I can move them all the way down, and I can move things around that way. Either way, uh, does the same thing. When I'm done, I just click on the X, show I'm done, and it gets resorted. That's how you rename sheets, and afterwards, that's how you sort them. It's pretty straightforward. See you next time.